Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. In this video I'm going to play Valorant. Oh no, I could only last through the tutorial, but seriously in this video I'm going to talk about TPM 2.0 on LG2011 version 3 and LG3647 platforms. As you probably know, TPM 2.0 is a trusted platform module which is a hardware piece that is used for all sorts of cryptographic functions. Windows 11 by default requires this module and refuses to get installed if your motherboard does not have the support. It is possible to bypass this requirement, at least for now, but in the future, if you would want Windows 11 updates, you must have this TPM 2.0 module. Also, even though you can disable this requirement and get Windows 11 installed on unsupported platform, applications such as anti-cheats in Valorant will refuse to start, because they check if you actually have TPM 2.0, and if you don't, it will just complain and fail. When it comes to the LJ2011 version 3 platform and the Chinese X99 motherboards, in theory the platform does support TPM 2.0 with an external hardware module. The problem is that not every Chinese motherboards have a header to install TPM 2.0 module and those that have a GLPC1 header do not follow any standards. Each vendor implements its own version of GLPC1 and sometimes these connectors are not complete. For example, I know that Huanan G GLPC1 headers are mirrored and if you just try to plug a TPM 2.0 module into that header, most likely you will cause a short and that could even damage your hardware. When Bias I Engineer developed custom bias for Machinist X99, MR9A and similar motherboards, he also developed a TPM 2.0 module. I bought him all required hardware so he can produce some of these modules and I have also sent him my bricked MR9A from the previous review video. He has unbricked my motherboard, he has installed a removable socket for the BIOS chip, so now I can install the BIOS and remove the BIOS for much easier read and write. He has also connected TPM 2.0 module for my motherboard. Unfortunately, because Chinese did not trace all required connections to the GLPC1 header, it is required to manually solder two additional wires from the TPM 2.0 module to the Nouveauton controller. These two additional wires are required for the TPM 2.0 module initialization during the system reboot. And that means that your TPM 2.0 module will work even without these additional wires, but if you reboot your system, it will fail to initialize. So in this case, if you don't want or cannot connect these two wires, you have to turn off and turn on your computer. Do not reboot it and it will be just fine. For these two additional wires, I have to say that even I cannot connect them. They are just too tiny and the legs of the Nouveauton controller are also way too tiny for my unexperienced hand to even try to solder it. So I'm thankful to Bias I Engineer for soldering it for me. If you remember, in my review video I reported that audio exits on this MR9A motherboard did not work. And funny enough, with buys from iEngineer, these exits are working just fine. So with the original BIOS and with the Huanan G BIOS, the audio exits at the rear do not work. And with the BIOS from iEngineer, they do work. I don't know what's going on there, maybe Chinese changed something in the motherboard layout and did not update the BIOS. But I'm happy that now my motherboard is fully functional. And, of course, as expected, with BIOS from iEngineer and with the TPM 2.0 module installed, you can see all these settings in the BIOS menus, Windows 11 can be installed with no issues, and Valorant runs with no complaints. As far as I know, BIOS iEngineer still has a couple of these TPM 2.0 modules available, so if you're interested to buy one or a few, please contact him and sort it out with him. Alternatively, you can buy a guide and all the required files to produce your own TPM 2.0 module for your motherboard. 
and if there will be enough demand, I will order from him 10, 20 or maybe 50 of these modules and will be selling them myself uh, through YouTube or through some other platform. A part of Machinist X99M9A, BIOS I Engineer is also developing TPM 2.0 modules for Machinist X99D8 and Supermaker X11 SPI TF motherboards. Machinist X99D8 is a dual socket motherboard which is rather pricey, but it is still interesting because it has four memory channels per CPU and it also has a lot of PCI Express X16 slots. So if you're interested, please let me know and we will figure something out. Supermaker SPI-TF is an LJ3647 motherboard and online you can find different TPM 2.0 modules for this motherboard. All these modules are rather expensive though and BIOS I Engineer is aiming to make it cheaper or even much cheaper. Again, if there will be enough demand, I will order 10, 20 or even 50 of these modules from him and then I will be selling it myself. Because he is not very interested in selling hardware, he doesn't want to bother with packaging, with the shipping, with customer support, he just wants to sell software, which is quick and easy. Also, according to Bias I Engineer, the Machinist X99D8 motherboard is plug and play with the TPM 2.0 module. It means that you do not have to solder any additional wires, just plug the module onto your motherboard and it will work. I don't yet know how I can organize the sales of these TPM 2.0 modules because platforms such as Patreon, eBay, Kickstarter or similar are asking for a very high commission and that increases the price of the TPM module substantially. So if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments. I am open to all sorts of solutions. With this I have to say thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I hope I have helped somehow and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.